Hey guys, okay. Hey everyone, good evening. Welcome back to another podcast episode. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Girl Sadi. As you guys have seen today's video, we're going to be doing a 2023 wrap. Um, yeah, like Spotify wraps, but this is for my life. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually so crazy. Um, actually, I filmed this video in the morning, but unfortunately, my light went off, and so I couldn't finish. I was actually contemplating, do I want to just continue from where I stopped and just like wear the same clothes? And but then my background is going to change, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to start from the beginning. I might have more things to say. I might have less things to say. You know, sometimes you over speak, sometimes you under speak. So maybe this might be my redemption time. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video before they take lights. Okay. I think the first thing I need to talk about, I actually apologize for it a little bit. Um, but I apologize mainly in in, in reference to um what they call it? Vlogmas, not necessary for my entire content. So I just have to give an explanation sort of as to why when when i filmed this, this part in the morning i cried i don't know if i'm gonna cry now um maybe in the morning i was very very emotional because it was morning like literally like 6 a.m 5 a.m it was 5 a.m um when i said filming the video and yeah so um a little bit of a background not really a background i'm just gonna say um towards the end of last year around this time last month in november december 2022 I had a huge change in my life okay a huge change like a huge gap was created and so i was i was very very unstable i wanted to say i was used to be unstable but that's a lie i was very very unstable um with everything around me and so obviously the easiest thing to kind of like throw on the back when i was youtube like i was creating content like if you guys remember my content you'll see that at some point in like march no may i was posting like vlogs from like january and so you will see that i actually did have content i was just not putting out that content because it's very very easy to pick up my phone and vlog it's very hard on the other hand to actually sit down and edit and have the time to edit and have the mental capacity to edit so that was one of the things i was really facing um towards the end of the year everything in my life actually took a downward spiral and so yeah that's just a summary of why i wasn't posting content i was trying like honestly at some point it felt i felt a little bit of guilt um for posting at all um like for example i had to rush to post my birthday vlog last year i posted it i think towards the end of like the year maybe on the 31st something like i don't know it was very very close to the end of the year that's when i posted my birthday vlog i think and then i did i dropped a few videos but then i started feeling a lot of guilt um not necessarily because i wanted to feel guilt but because i feel like people around me did not expect me to continue posting around posting on youtube and i was and then i felt guilty for that like okay does this mean that i'm disrespecting like this person or something but then again when i think about it this person was somebody that actually approved and was proud of what i was doing on youtube so um it was almost like a thing where it's like they wouldn't want me to stop posting right and despite that i still had to limit myself like i wasn't feeling like it Right? most of the time i wasn't feeling like cancer. i was actually telling myself like they wouldn't want you to just stop posting just because of what happened you know they want you to be able to like work through it and not working past it but like carrying that thing along as your motivation to post more and doing more and achieving more in honor of said person right so yes that was like that is like a little bit of like an explanation as to why my posting schedule for this year was very very off so now we are having our uh, categories and so the first category which is in line with what we just talked about is mental health my mental health was in the gutters yeah yeah it was in the gutters it was in trenches it was in the pits <laughs> uh, for majority of the year like like i said i went through a huge transition in my life and so that obviously had a huge effect huge effect on my mental health um i wouldn't say i'm 100 percent better now but i am but definitely doing better do I have more reasons to not think about my life? Yes. Do I have more distractions? Yes. Um, and I've come to the realization that sometimes these things are never going to go away. You actually just need to find distractions to make you feel better and make you do better and make, and make you want to actually go through your entire day. Probably you should go into therapy, but therapy is cost. So we're just going to keep on doing TikTok. 
and and that's it you know next category we have is social media moves all right the main thing that we all care about is youtube because we are on youtube but yeah on youtube this year i hit 1000 subscribers <laughs> so i hit 1000 subscribers um in honor of my pressing and you know currently we're at 1058 subscribers as when i checked this afternoon when i was uploading i don't know if it has gone up or gone down but 1058 subscribers that is amazing i know for certain that we came into this year with about 700 subscribers maybe a little bit over 700 but i know that i was like oh you guys get me to 700 for my birthday as i last year so we're definitely like 358 subscribers in new subscribers this year i want to say thank you to everybody <laughs> i don't know why I'm, I'm i'm very tired um if you don't know i've come back from work that's why i'm all dressed up and my hair's tied i'm naturally i would have just like sprayed my hair and carried it like that i'm coming back from work i'm so exhausted so my I, I don't know i'm trying to be hyped but at the same time i'm like very tired i don't know what my face looks like right now because i'm not using my receiver so yes we hit 1k 1k plus so thank you to everybody that subscribed to my channel this year i am so grateful thank you so much i know i said some thank yous in what where did i say thank yous i said thank yous in one of my previous videos like one of my recent videos i said thank you sorry i'm hitting my mic but yeah thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching i don't know which video i think my access bank video did a lot of numbers that was the video from last year but it did a lot of numbers this year um and then some other videos some other few videos and um, when tayo tayo i know made one tweet I put some of my video links. That video did in a couple of numbers because obviously the link and people clicking on it and all of that. So that probably brought traction to my channel as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has subscribed. I think throughout Vlogmas, I've grown about 30 something subscribers. I'm going to check and put it actually the actual thing on the screen. I am thankful to everybody who has been sharing my content. Oh my God. I know it's not been easy. My views have tanked. It's sad, but at the same time, I'm grateful for this to the there's so many people that constantly watch because i know like at least if i don't get any view i'll get like something with your views so i'm grateful to get some people who constantly watch and please if you're silent well they're silent they will be watching this but if you're a silent subscriber i'm still grateful to you for adding to the numbers but please if you can once in a while try to watch the videos it helps me so, so 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 much my watch hours are still there i'm not monetized yet so if you're seeing um, ads on my videos it's not for me no money goes to me yet I need 4,000 watch hours. I'm at 300 and something. Like, please, if you can run my Vlogmas playlist overnight with your midnight top. I know most of us, our pause points are going to finish. Do pause points subscription of 2 gig and just run my playlist overnight. I will be eternally grateful to you. So, as you guys know, this year I attended Creators Hangout, hosted by Jane Derry herself. And it was an amazing experience. Um, I wouldn't say that I talk to any of those creators on a daily basis right now. I don't but i definitely have like a handful of creators in my pocket maybe not in my pocket in my social media <laughs> so anytime i actually need to do any collaborations or if i'm like looking for events most of them actually like create awareness for events and all of that kind of stuff so definitely i have like in my pocket do you understand so that's amazing that's an amazing thing to actually have i did volunteer for plug festival and that was something that i decided to do off the bat like you know how <laughs> you just you just like see something online and you just register like i'm gonna do this like and so i did it and i ended up meeting the nedge studios guys i met the nedge studios like that is insane i worked with the nedge studios like i was in like these are people that you see on the internet that take pictures that do videos that do like all this wedding content and you're like yo this is mad like one day i would love this person to actually capture me and see what I look like through this person's lens, and then having to having the opportunity to actually sit down with this person and have conversation, it was something that if I stayed in my house, I wouldn't have gotten. You understand what I mean? Like I met Overhype Isaac, I met a lot of people, a lot of content creators, a lot of um, photographers, videographers that I would not have met if I didn't about my course. And that is one thing that I want to try and accomplish in 2024. We were talking about the things I want to accomplish in 2024, my plans in one of my first videos of 2024 so stay tuned for that but yes um social media is doing good i feel like at this point social media is doing really good oh i should also mention that i did an ad a video advertisement for plotfest and that video had a lot of numbers i got a lot of comments saying that oh my god you should be a presenter maybe that's something that i might be in my future i don't know how that's gonna go but a lot of people were like oh you sound so nice you should be a presenter yo you have like a nice voice you talk well you're very articulate like 
<laughs> that was really fun. I really loved that. Um, it helped me a lot. It made me feel I, I was I had too much anxiety posting that. Um, I had too much anxiety. I had too much anxiety doing the video. I I was shaky. I was forgetting my lines. It was, and then to see that people actually appreciated that content, people actually liked it. That was a very major boost to my ego, and it's not taken for granted. Okay, so coming from social media, let's talk about social life. Okay. This year, as you guys know, I have just two friends in Port Harcourt, Ife and Karina. And Ife was deployed to Lagos for NYSD. Karina is doing her master's in architecture. Very, very demanding course, okay? So definitely, you know that I stayed in my house the entire year. Or I tried to. Or I tried not to. How do I put it? I don't know how to put it. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't go in lots of places. But despite my not going to a lot of places, I went to places that mattered. I went to church. <laughs> I would say that Church is my most social place I go to on a weekly basis. That's, that's the place I socialize with the most people. I met a lot of people this year in church. Um, it's really because of the fact that I serve in media. And media is a team that attracts a lot of youth and young people. And so that would be my most in inclusive and like the place that brings me out of my comfort zone the most right now in my life. Um, the church, my media space. Like I go to church, I go to media, I interact. That is why I interact. If I don't have media, I would not interact with anybody. I'm, I'm, I'm not even kidding you. Like. The media space has become a home for me. It has become somewhere that I can be myself, where I can talk to people, where I can relate with people, where I can have friends. You know, so I really appreciate the media. So, so as you guys saw, I went for the Rave Fest. How did I get to know Rave Fest? Remember when I spoke about social media and creators hangouts? So I saw that a, lot, a couple of people received um, packages, um, invites to Rave Fest. And so I got interested and I was like, oh, I want to go for this. So I did. And when I went for Rave Fest, guess what I did? I made friends. I made friends. Oh my gosh. I made friends with two people, Lily and Joanne. These are people that I've never met before in my life. I met them there. Literally, like if you want to know how about how we met how we met, how we started talking, there's a vlog, just go ahead, watch the vlog. But yes, I met two friends and I made them myself with nobody's help. Yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> it was all me, like that was amazing. That was an amazing experience. Another thing I did was you guys know i don't know if you guys know but I sometimes mention like the boys and then i'll be like some people that i know my friends if you check my birthday vlog for last year there was someone that got me a cake that said happy birthday max in small chops that person i met her for the first time in two years we've been friends for two years online and i met her finally 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 i met her the final this year when she came for plug fest so i told her about plug fest i was like you have to come i got her tickets and she came and she stayed over at night and it was an amazing experience and i don't know why i'm brushing i don't know why i'm smiling so hard but yeah it was really really fun i really loved it okay so let's talk prayer life okay prayer life how has my prayer life been i would say my prayer life is in the works i think that's the best way to that's the best way to summarize it like i don't want to go into too much detail because it's nobody business for mine and god's but it's definitely in the works um stripes are being made steps are being taken and definitely going to get better definitely going to get better okay so now we're going to talk about something so exciting i know that's what, what most people would click on a video like this especially from me for um so let's talk about it let's talk relationships now do some glitter thing on the screen with like the words and stuff like that <laughs> so let's talk how my series of entanglement <laughs> went this year so i began i began the year with a love bomb experience my first time experiencing love bombing i think and if you don't know what love bombing is i'm gonna put a def definition on the screen um it's basically when someone attacks you very much with like a lot it's, it's just a lot of like i'm gonna get married and have kids within like two weeks of talking like if i show you our chats on whatsapp we spoke for not we started speaking on whatsapp like we i know we started talking on, I think on snapchat that's when I, like, I think that's where we actually started talking for the first time on Snapchat. Then we moved to WhatsApp. Within less than a month of me moving to WhatsApp, our first chat on WhatsApp was January 29th. Sorry, January 9th, right? Our last chat on WhatsApp was January 25th. Is that up to 21 days? That's three weeks. No, it's not. And within that three weeks, this nigga told me he wants to marry me. He wants to introduce me to his mother. We're going to have kids together. Brother, is that how things work? Is that how things work on this side of the planet? Because it's a reverse boy. I don't know if that's how reverse boys do. I don't know. But like that was a lot. And I don't know if it was the love bombing that actually pushed me off. I think it was more of like a lack of communication thing. Um, 
if you know me you know i'm big on communication um the only person that is allowed to not talk to me are my close friends because i know that despite whatever we're going to be together forever for you i don't know you from adam do you understand what i mean like you're supposed to be trying to talk to me like to get me to be comfortable with you and then you're not talking to me are you mad you must be mad so that was the first person okay now so to the second person right so now the second person i can't remember when i started talking to him um i don't know because he used to be in my what they call it months all those month things that they do on tiktok with the cap cut edits i love that but let me give you guys the backstory so this person was on my snapchat so let's just let's just say today so we used to keep streaks on snap so purely streaks purely friendship nothing more nothing next right no we don't even have friendship acquaintance snapchat streakers <laughs> uh, that's that is what they call them so like, we used to be streak mates on snapchat and then all of a sudden i can't remember when the switch happened i think he texted me one day or something i don't even know like out of the blues like naturally prior to like the first time we started speaking we used to keep streaks so sometimes i'll save his snap in chat you save mine in chat like oh you're pretty i'll be like oh you look nice that kind of thing so like there's a little bit of a crush there right and so we started talking i can't even remember i kid you know, i can't remember how we started talking and then he was like oh he's always admired me love and i was like oh i really find you cute as well and then we started talking right now mind you take notes so take notes me and this person are not on the same continent <laughs> let's start there do not what the other say do not engage in long distance now i'm an advocate for ldrs i've always been an advocate for ldrs why because i don't like to be seen i want to be known i want to be perceived i don't like to be seen i don't like people calling me like hey what's up let's hang out now that's not to say that my biggest thing is not physical touch physical touch is up there what is and quality time is also up there but quality time can be had on the phone over the, the internet you understand what i'm saying so yes i didn't think it would be a problem except the fact that the time zone the time zone it was like minus his his is like minus six hours so there's six hours behind us right when are we waking up for work at 6 a.m he would be about to go to sleep at 12 midnight and when i'm going to sleep by six okay no i don't go to sleep by six, six, six but i just say i'm going to sleep by like nine he would be going to work by 3 p.m right and so it was it was crazy it was literally the craziest thing ever because my sleep schedule had to change and that's one thing about me i would obviously go out of my way to accommodate everything and so i would wake up or i'll wake up earlier than i'm supposed to like maybe like 5 30 so that we can talk from 5 30 to 6 30 and then i start getting ready for work and then i'll be rushing to go to work mm. and then okay sometimes actually too by the time i like that's my 12 p.m I think my 12 sometimes by like 12 p.m. which is my break time or like when i get to work something like that like i know when he's supposed to be when he's getting ready for ah oh, it was it was crazy i can't even remember do you understand like that's how bad it was like honestly it would have worked out if both parties were on the same page mentally there was some disrespect i don't want to go into it but there was some disrespect and I obviously as a big girl and as the person that i am i do not take disrespect okay so, and it's the petty person that I am. I'm the pettiest person you ever met. I'm the pettiest person you ever met. Okay, maybe not. But you know what I would do? And I'm not even, I'm not even going to say, I don't feel bad about it. I became nonchalant. You know when somebody is like, oh, you're chalanting too much. And you decide to not, not chalant no more. I was the most nonchalant person he ever met in his life. And it would pain him. And then he would be like, what's going on? Like, you're not the same person anymore. I'm like, nigga, I'm not going to let you disrespect me two times. I'll be a fool. Okay, so I'm not going to chalant no more. Now, if you want me to chalant, you're going to have to chalant more than I ever chalanted. <laughs> like, more than I ever chalanted. Do you understand what I mean? Like, you have to show me through effort and through blood and tears. Because disrespect is, mm -mm, it's my life. Me, me, I'm proud like this. It's not even pride. It's not even pride. It's just a level of disrespect that you shouldn't just take from people. And I will never in my life, I like man, of all human beings, of all creatures on this earth, a man occurring ah this is really me no that's not gonna happen okay. and so now why have i since the time we stopped speaking not talk to any other person i've I actually talked to somebody i was just talking to somebody uh, the person was talking to me i wasn't talking to them <sighs> i'm of a certain age <laughs> where it's like i can't i don't just be with people for for, for just let me, just so i have somebody it doesn't work that way in my brain like it has never worked that way in my brain, right? 
I said when I was in uni, that was when I was like, oh, okay, it's in uni, like after I leave that, once I leave the shorts of Bangkok, I don't know you no more. I'm coming to Bangkok, you're staying in Lagos, but with the ferry, like we can't, we're not gonna stay ourselves again. Do you understand? So, um, apart from when I left Bangkok, I just never. That's I feel, I feel like that's one of the reasons why I've never actually taken anything very seriously because those are people that I've been meeting, are not people that can bring home to my father. So if I can't bring it home to my father, why do I, why should I bother myself? Like, do you understand? Like I, that's why I said in my one of my videos, I said two weeks and we switched to the next week. So because that, sorry, within that two weeks, I know after like that two weeks is when I start getting attached. So I cut you off after two weeks and then I move to the next person. And that way I do not get attacked. Is the cheat code. Use your brain. You are giving one girl. <laughs> finances. Um, For finances, I'm not going to be disclosing amount or anything, but I feel like my finances are doing really good. Um, if you guys know, I got a job at the beginning of the year and I've had a job steadily since January. And so for my saving pattern, I'm going to just give you guys, maybe I'll talk about it in depth in a video next year. But I use the 50, 30, 20 principle. And so every month once I get my salary, after I pay my tithes, do everything, everything, everything. The 20% is calculated on my entire, not after the tithe, it's calculated on the entire thing. Do you understand what I mean? The 20% is on the entire thing. The 10% comes after the 50% because it's a, it's a need. It's not a want. So it's a need. It's a necessity. So it comes out of 50%. So the 20% is on the entire 100% and I take it out. And then at the end of the month, whatever is left behind, I think I've mentioned it before. I used to do it. I don't longer do it. Now I spend whatever is left behind because it's usually not much now. But at the beginning of the year, it would be much. And to the fact that I would like have to split it or like uh, if it's like 18,000, I'll put 10,000. So I'll push the 10,000 to savings as well. The 8,000 would be like leftover money for me to spend whenever, wherever. So that's what I use for savings. That's what I do. If you want me to do an in-depth video on savings, the platforms I use, percentages, and all of that, just let me know in the comment section. The next thing is self-care. I feel like I, if, according to Ife, if you watch my vlogs, you will know that I care for myself a lot because of the amount of unboxings I do. <laughs> but the thing is, I, I, I didn't get all these things at once. Like I've saved, like I said, my finances, I've saved majority of my money over the months. So the fact that it's like, this money, do you understand the thing is, life is so short and you have to realize that what the money you are saving? What are you saving it for? What are you saving it for? Like, at some point, you have to be able to spend your own money. I'm somebody that's very stingy with my own money to myself. Like, I would send money to my friends and my siblings. But to buy things for myself used to be very hard. And so I'm very proud of myself that this year, I'm actually putting in the efforts to actually give to myself and buying things that I want and need. Like, the things I'm buying are things I need. I need bags. I need, um, like, earrings that I can wear for one bit. Like, I wore one in my previous video to the wedding. I went, like, you understand? Because these are things I need. These are things I actually use. You understand? So it's not like I'm just buying things just to buy things. You understand what I mean? So yeah, as you guys have also seen, I've started doing skin here. The skin is looking good. Um, I'm still having a little bit of hyperpigmentation. Also, natural hormonal breakouts are still a thing because you can't get them away. You can't take them away. They're always gonna be there. Um, so yeah. Then gym. I've been saying I want to go to the gym for the longest, but 2024, I've stepped to the point where the thing is one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to pay for like a block of months at a period so i have the money but i've not yet sectioned it out and so if i don't section it out i will not pay it and i need to actually section it out like this is gym money you understand so if i section it out i know that i'm paying for three months and it's like three months we're going back to back to back but another thing that's hindering me from going to gym also is the lack of a gym partner so hopefully my next day one of my colleagues is like saying that he wants to do gym so if he's actually serious about doing gym i have a gym partner and gym is gonna be in next year and we're gonna be a gym buddy and like you guys saw my video i already have one of my first gym fits my first ever gym vlog or that thing i hope i remember and then for hair i don't stick down my scarf but you guys have seen my hair my hair is doing good it's been about nine months it's going to nine months nine months on like the second of january so this is the 30th 30th and so nine months on second of january my hair is doing good um although it is having a little bit of thinning at the roots I don't know i think that's normal from like some videos i've seen online like i've seen that okay some people's roots actually look a little bit thin um so it's not like a bad thing i'll still watch it for a little bit like i want to get to one year like one year locked yo that's crazy like it's been nine months that's that's insane commitment like <laughs> do i miss my loose natural hair yes i do I actually miss my loose natural hair a lot i want to do braids so bad but i have to wait until my hair is like oh it's a bit over a year locked and then i'll do braids um but yeah, I miss braids so much. Yo, this Christmas, I wanted braids so bad. I wanted braids so bad, but obviously, I'm locked. And I, do, I right now, I don't want to manipulate my hair a lot. Plus, I need to start manipulating my hair a lot because I'm getting tender-headed, like, very much tender-headed. And that's not what we're going to... I don't want to deal with that. That's the whole discussion for another day. Okay, so my dream board review is going to be one of the first videos of 2024. And also where I share my 2024 dream board. So stay tuned for that. Um, I think that's... 
that's that's like the whole thing of this video thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comment section how your 2023 was let me just just to me let's talk let's just interact with ourselves okay thank you for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs> yo look at it i don't know if it's gonna focus but it's literally on 10 percent it's red okay bye